Welcome to the Wall Doc Way. Today's video is going to be a look inside the brand new Wall Docs Wizards and Wands curriculum. This curriculum is based off of being immersed at Hogwarts for an entire school year, and it includes your language arts, your history, your science, your art, and your music. The only thing you need to add is your own arithmetic, which would be math. During your year at Hogwarts, you will read all seven of the Harry Potter books and watch all eight of the movies. And you will also take six core classes and four elective classes. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you inside now so you can see what those classes and courses would look like. Inside your teacher's manual, you will have a lot of different links. These links are easy to click to take you directly to where you need to go. There are many links, a lot of links, because I want it to be easy for us busy mamas. So the required resources for Waldox Wizards and Wands include the Harry Potter books, the Harry Potter movies, and then six core course textbooks and a cookbook. So there's only seven books required. There is a ton of additional resources listed in here. I tried to choose books that were easily readily available at most libraries so that you would not have to purchase many extras. However, if you want to purchase extras, there are tons of extra books and fun linked in here. I've also added some Alexa schooling or Amazon Echo skills. If you have an Amazon Echo and you want some extra skills, they are here for you. I have also added some extra magic in here. So ways to make your math or your arithmetic fun, a way to add in some geography with a subscription letter and some other fun ideas to start off your school year on the right foot. And then I also give you a list of extra magic reading. So from the easiest books to the hardest books, they're listed in that kind of order. And this would be great for additional read alouds or required reading for your student themselves. Now your charms, spells, enchantments, and incantations are your language arts for the year. Each one of your courses is going to list a course description, your required textbook, which there actually is not a required one for this, and then additional information. Your charms is inspirational copy work. Spells are your dictations. Enchantments are narrations, which can be verbal or written based off of where your student is at and what you feel comfortable with. And then your incantations are writing prompts and projects. Each one of these will be done once a week so you will be doing some form of language arts every day, and there are 36 in here. There are also additional resources that you may find helpful or fun listed and linked. And then you get into your six core classes. Now, your six core classes are what covers your science and your history, and they are meant to be done consecutively, not concurrently. So you will spend six weeks on each of the core classes, five to six weeks on each of the core classes. And no, they do not have to be done in the order that they are listed in here. They are listed in here alphabetically. If your child is really into one right now, you can do that now and then skip around. That is up to you. Those six classes are alchemy, astronomy, herbology, magical creatures, Muggle Studies, which is your history, and then Potions. And each of those lists a course description, the required textbook, as well as some additional helpful textbooks, a hands-on activity, a linked YouTube playlist, a linked Pinterest board, fun games that would go along with this course, additional resources, and then either notes that I have made or notes for you to make. Now, anywhere there are additional resources that are paid additional resources, I have worked very hard to try to find coupon codes um, with that company or that person so that you would be saving as much money as possible if you chose to purchase it. There are also elective courses. There are four elective courses. And the elective courses are meant to be done either on a fun Friday or whenever you find the time for them. Defense Against the Dark Arts is dueling based with games. So you'll be playing games against each other for dueling and defending your honor. There are games listed in the 7 plus age and the 10 plus age so that there's something for everybody. 
You have muggle arts and music and everything here is linked with 99% of it being free for you. Then you have a elective owl study and an elective author study. There is also a cookbook guide because the cookbook is wonderful, but it is listed off of what kind of food it is. So just in case you wanted to cook something based off of what you're reading, I have listed each of the recipes by book and chapter that they correlate to and then page in the cookbook. So if you were reading Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows and you were around chapter six, here are two different recipes that you could choose to cook on your um, fun Friday. There is a book discussion guide. There's one for each book as well as the Tales of Beetle the Bard that if you want some additional discussion guide or you want some additional talking points, they are linked there for you. And then I have included a lesson plan template. Now there's one included, but I printed 36, so I would have one for each week. I have a date, your current course of study, so you could list alchemy or astronomy, whatever you're studying at the time. And then each day tells you to read one to two chapters of your Harry Potter book and then complete either a charm, a spell, an incantation, or an enchantment. And then it tells you to do an arithmancy lesson of your choice because you'll be adding in your own math. And then here it gives you what you need to do with your course of study. So the different things that you should do with your course of studies. And then day five, notice none of this says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because we all school differently. But day five <clears throat> is a free day or a loop day. So if you missed a day, you can just use it as a makeup day. Or there are check boxes down here where it says complete your choice of the following, which is your elective um, options there or a movie night if you finished a book. Again, like I said, I have 36 printed for my teacher's manual. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the student notebook. Your student notebook will have everything in it that the student needs for the year. The first thing is charms, which is again, copy work. And there will be two options when you get ready to print your student notebook. You can either print it in a manuscript or a cursive. The only difference is your copy work will either be in manuscript or cursive, depending on what you would like your child to use. There are 36 inspirational quotes for copy work. So one for each week. Then you have your spells, which is your dictations. And there's just a fun festive paper for that because you would be dictating for your child to write. Your enchantments, which is your narrations. If you choose to do verbal narrations, again, there is a fun paper for that. If you choose a written narrations, I'm sorry. If you chose to do verbal, you would just leave this section out of the student notebook when you printed it. Now, your incantations is your writing prompts and projects. The very first thing you have is a roll of story because there's a few in here when you'll be reverting back to this, which is why it's in the very front. And then one of your first projects is setting up an allery and learning how to properly write a letter. After that, you will have either a writing prompt, a roll of story creative writing project, or a hands-on project such as creating your own house, creating your own wand, writing the daily profit, making a candy for honeydukes, coming up with a new wizard transportation, a new wizard sport, um, your favorite characters, good versus bad quality character traits. So again, there are 36 of those for you to do for the entire year. And then after that, you get into the core classes. Again, they do not have to be done in any certain order. Each core class has six notebooking pages because you'll be doing one a week. So you have six pages within Alchemy for your student to do one a week. Same thing with Astronomy. There are six pages in here that they will be filling out. Same thing at, with Herbology. Magical creatures is the same. Your muggle studies actually has eight notebooking pages because you'll be going through four different time periods. So there's two pages for each time period. Potions has six notebooking pages. And then the only elective that has notebooking pages is the muggle music. And that is draw what you hear pages. 
So the only thing that is required for you to print and use within the curriculum is the student manual and the or the teacher's manual and the student notebook. However, I have also included a lot of fun additional extras in this curriculum that I'm going to go ahead and show you now. So if you have finished a book, I tell you to have a family movie night. So because of that, I included a movie night folder in the downloadable file that has eight different pages of movie night tickets. So there's a movie night ticket for each of the eight movies. There is also these food tent cards that have some of the more famous um, candy and food items from the Harry Potter books and movies. So you can have your own candy buffet. There is a butter beer recipe. And then there is also a book versus movie compare and contrast sheet. So you can use the Venn diagram and then your favorite part of the book versus your favorite part of the movie. There is also a file that is titled Extra Fun, and within that, there is a Hogwarts welcome letter where you can fill out your child's name and the date that they will be starting. There is a Hogwarts um, requirement sheet here that actually lists the required books that will be required for Waldock's Wizards and Wands, but this gives them a fun idea of things that will be required for them. And then I have also included some house flags for decorating and some quote posters that you could also use to decorate with just to make it fun and more themed. And then the last thing I added was some games. So here we have Find It Fast. So it's a Harry Potter printable version of a spot it or if you're in the UK dobble these are charade and pictionary cards so there's a really big stack of characters and items and creatures and events and activities for charades and pictionary this is a dueling wizards where you'll roll two dice, add them together, and then cover the number. And whoever covers their side first wins the duel. And then the last thing I have is a Horcrux hunt. So depending on the level of your student, you can pick either addition, subtraction, or multiplication. And what they will do is they will complete the problems in that column to collect that Horcrux. And once they have collected all seven, they have defeated he who shall not be named. So that is the extra fun math game that I have for you. So that's it. That is everything that is included with Waldock's Wizards and Wands. It is going to be so much fun. I personally can't wait to dive in with my daughter, and I hope that you all feel the same way. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And everything will be going live midnight tonight. So instead of waiting till tomorrow morning, I'm going to go ahead and let the 15th mean midnight tonight. So everything in the shop will be live at midnight.